Thank you everybody for tuning in and uh, we're going to do a, a stream tonight on these new revelations that came out about this mysterious case of a uh, Green Beret in Mali who was found dead in June in his embassy housing. And uh, this has been going on for a while. Uh, the authorities are trying to figure out how he got how he died. And uh, you know, initially, uh, some of the people who lived with him and who were there at the time, uh, who were also special operations forces, they reported this was an accident of some sort. But then in the autopsy, the autopsy came back that uh, the Green Beret who was killed, who is Logan Melgar, Staff Sergeant Logan Melgar, you see his picture right there. Um, the autopsy said it was a homicide by asphyxi asphyxiation, a homicide by asphyxiation. So somehow he got strangled or the air got cut off to him and homicide means intentional, I believe. And in, in, uh, in, uh, in the language of, uh, of autopsies. So, uh, so this has been a mystery now. How did this person die? How did, uh, this Green Beret Logan Melgar get killed? Who killed him and, and, uh, what happened and why would this happen? Why would somebody kill, uh, a Green Beret in the housing he shared with other Special Operations Forces, other Green Berets there in Mali. So uh, in the last day, though, a couple reports have come out which have said that this Green Beret, Staff Sergeant Melgar, shortly before he got killed, had found out about stealing going on by some Navy SEALs who were living in, with him at the time and who were present at the time of his death. Again, these reports say that Staff Sergeant Melgar had found out that some Navy SEALs who were living with him in Mali had been stealing, and these Navy SEALs were present at the time of his death. So uh, now it's being investigated as to into whether these uh, these Navy SEALs who uh, supposedly might have been involved in this stealing operation that Sergeant Melgar found out about it. They're being investigated to see if this could be a possible motive for a murder of Staff Sergeant Melgar. Uh, so we want to give you updates here, show you some of the details about this. We'd also like to get your comments on this. So if you have any thoughts on this, uh, write to me on Twitter during the broadcast at Lookner at L-O-O-K-N-E-R. I'm going to read your comments and your questions on the air. And I want to say a quick thank you to the moderators for being with us tonight, for moderating the chat room. In the uh, chat room, we got uh, Real Frank, Guinevere, and JC. Now, JC, I know you wrote... Uh, and you wrote to us earlier today saying, hey, can you do a story about this? And we'd actually, when you wrote, we're already planning on doing a stream about this. But thank you for writing in. We appreciate it. And also, uh, thank you to Common Sense and Glenno moderating on the website. So let's talk, let's talk about some of the details of these stories. Um, the two, sto I've seen stories in the New York Times, the Daily Beast, and CNN about it. Uh, I'm going to talk about the New York Times and Daily Beast story. So the, the New York Times story is this one here. Uh, it says... Navy SEALs investigated in Green Beret's death also under scrutiny in theft. But I want to start with the Daily Beast story because that's the first one. That came out, I think, last night, sometime yesterday, maybe. And, um, sorry, uh, and, uh, and, um, I, I want to get to this because this is the first story that we saw that broke this news about that, uh, Sergeant, St Staff Sergeant Melgar reportedly discovered uh, Navy SEALs living with him and who were there at the time of his death were involved in some stealing operation. So they really broke the story of the Daily Beast. As you can see, the headline is Green Beret discovered SEALs illicit cash, then he was killed. So this actually isn't that long of a story. I'm going to read through the story and uh, get some of your comments on it. But let's read through the story, get some of the details on this. This is again from the Daily Beast. Uh, and uh, interesting, it starts off with this interesting detail that... Uh, uh, that 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 well I'm gonna, just to just to give you a heads up that some of the people with him claimed he had been drinking that night but other people knew that he didn't drink and that raised some suspicions about their story but let's get into the article okay uh Logan Melgar had not had a drink on just June 4th. The Green Beret Sergeant's dry day became a key to unraveling the narrative spun by the elite Navy commandos whom military investigators now suspect killed him, officials familiar with the case said. And I should point out, the 
the Navy SEALs who lived with Staff Sergeant Melgar and who uh, are being investigated for murdering him now, uh, they are in SEAL Team 6. That's the elite Navy SEAL team, which is in itself elite, and they were the team that carried out the uh, raid on uh, Osama bin Laden's hideout and killed Osama bin Laden. So let me continue here. Melgar, a staff sergeant in the Army's 3rd Special Forces Group, so he was an Army Special Forces, an Army Green Beret, um, was specifically selected for an intelligence operation in the West African nation of Mali. He was well respected by the American Embassy staff and the partner forces there, a former U.S. Africa command official said. But shortly before he died, Melgar told his wife that he had had a bad feeling about two of his partners in that effort, both of whom, both of whom were members of SEAL Team 6. Not wanting to say much more, Melgar informed his wife, Michelle, that he told her the full story that he'd tell her the full story when he got back home, according to an official speaking on condition of anonymity because the investigation is still ongoing. So Melgar, when talking to his wife back home shortly before he was killed, he said, I have a bad feeling about two of these Navy SEALs from SEAL Team 6 who are, uh, who are working with me here. I just, you know, I forgot to do it before. I want to do a quick check and make sure the audio level is okay. Ooh, sounds good. Okay, great. Okay, let's continue here. And again, I'm going to be taking your comments shortly. So if you have any comments on this story, any thoughts about this, write to me on Twitter at Lookner at L-O-O-K-N-E-R. So now the two Navy SEALs that Melgar said he had a bad feeling about when he was talking to his wife, they are now under an investigation for killing Melgar, an investigation which was first reported by the New York Times that is sending shockwaves throughout the special operations community. Military experts were hard-pressed to think of another case where elite U.S. troops turned on one another. This account in this article is based on five members of the special operations community who were not cleared to speak publicly. Representatives of both U.S. Africa Command and U.S. Special Operations Command uh, declined comment for this story as the uh, NCIS, Naval Criminal, Criminal Investigative Service, has an active investigation into Melgar's death. NCIS would not comment beyond confirming the investigation is underway. So let's now hear a little bit more about what Staff Sergeant Melgar uh, had supposedly found out about these Navy SEALs who were working and living with him before he was killed. Uh, let me also say, if you enjoy our coverage, if you like that we're doing a whole live stream on this, um, please consider making a donation because we are viewer supported. Your support, your donations allow us to be on the air and devote an entire live stream to this story, which we think is important to talk about. So if you want to make a donation, you can go to the bottom of the YouTube chat and click on the dollar sign at the bottom of the YouTube chat. There's a little dollar sign there. Or go to rsbn.tv slash donate, rsbn.tv slash donate. Okay, next section, dirty money damning excuse. There is a minimal U.S. troop presence in Mali at most, nothing compared to the 800 troops in neighboring, neighboring Niger, another West African nation that hosts a sizable special, op special operations cadre. Um, but special operations forces aid U.S. diplomats, Malian soldiers, and their French partners in gathering intelligence on a confluence of capable local militants trending Islamist. As the elite troops do in so many countries, they operate in the shadows with comparatively little oversight. And what their actions actually look like on the ground can be much dirtier than the heroic image the Pentagon prefers to portray. For example, part of the intelligence gathering operation in Mali involved a fund used to pay informants. Melgar, two special operations sources say, discovered the SEALs. Oops, I, I, I got to move this up. Uh, Mel, here, here I am right here. Melgar, two special operations sources say, discovered the SEALs were pocketing some of the money from the informant fund. The SEALs offered to cut him in, but Melgar declined, these sources said. So supposedly, the man who was killed, the Green Beret who was killed, had found out that a couple of the Navy SEALs there with him in Mali were taking some of the money, skimming some of the money that was dedicated to paying off informants. And, and he had discovered they were taking, taking it for themselves. They offered to cut him in and he refused, according to these sources. It is unknown what specifically started the June 4th altercation at 5 a.m., but it escalated. Melgar lost consciousness and worse, stopped breathing. 
The SEALs attempted to open an airway in Melgar's throat, officials said. It is unknown whether Melgar died immediately. The SEALs and another Green Beret, according to former AFRICOM officials, drove to a nearby French clinic seeking help. Melgar was dead when he arrived at the clinic, the official said. Asphyxi asphyxi asphyxiation was the cause of death. So we have, according to the Daily Beast, this Green Beret Melgar, Staff Sergeant Melgar, finding out that a couple Navy, Navy SEALs were stealing money from the uh, fund to pay informants. And then we have Sergeant Melgar dying in an altercation with those SEALs. And those SEALs are the ones who end up, are there when he died and bring, brought him to the uh, French clinic seeking help. So they were there at the time of his death. Now, let's continue here. You can see a quote coming up. It was worst. It was the worst excuse the SEALs could have made up. The autopsy report said no drugs or alcohol were found in Melgar's system. With Melgar dead, an apparent panic sent in, set in. The SEALs told superiors that Melgar was drunk during so-called combatives, that is, hand-to-hand -hand fighting exercises. The Intercept reported that one of the SEALs, Petty Officer Anthony E. D. Dolph, was a mixed martial arts pro. A source told the Daily Beast the SEALs filed at least one operational report about the incident and possibly two. At least one of the reports included an account that Melgar was drunk. It was the worst excuse the SEALs could have made up. A former AFRICOM official who saw the autopsy report said no drugs or alcohol was found in Melgar's system. So the SEALs said he was drunk that night, but the autopsy said no alcohol was found in his system. At least one source believes Melgar did not drink alcohol at all. The SEAL story was unraveling. So this article is just a little, uh, just, just a few more paragraphs in this article. I want to finish the article. By the way, I didn't give credit to who wrote this article. The writers of the article are Kevin Maurer and Spencer Ackerman. Again, it is from the Daily Beast. So let me uh, finish up the article and then give you guys, I want to hear some of your comments on this. Uh, you can write to me with comments at at Lookner on Twitter, at L-O-O-K-N-E-R. Let me know what you think about all of this. Uh, skeptics from the start. Here's the last part of the article. A second former Africa command official uh, said Brigadier General Donald Bolduc, Bolduc, then commander of the Special Operations Command Africa, was skeptical of the initial reports from the outset. These are the reports from the Navy SEALs saying that Melgar was drunk and that they were, have, they were doing some uh, fighting training exercises and that's how he died, something to do with that. Uh, this Brigadier General alerted Army Criminal Investigation Command and told commanders in Mali to preserve evidence. Melgar's wife, Michelle, was also suspicious. Three sources tell the Daily Beast. She raised concerns about the cause of death and allegations of drinking, according to three people familiar with the investigation, including providing investigators emails sent to her by her sent sent by her husband about problems he was having with the seals. So he sent her emails about problems he was having with these seals, and she provided those emails to the military authorities. The Daily Beast has reliably heard Michelle Melgar does not wish to be con contacted by reporters and has respected that wish. Uh, and it just, at, fin at, the, at the end here, it just says, uh, just 34 years old when he died. Melgar Texan was an Afghanistan veteran twice over. His hometown paper, the Lubbock Avalanche Journal, reported that Melgar was a 2006 graduate of Texas Tech. He enlisted in 2012 and joined the Army as an 18X and off-the-street Special Forces recruit. He graduated from the Special Forces, Forces Qualification course in 2016. Staff Sergeant Melgar did what only what most only dream of and excelled at it at every turn, wrote a Melgar family representative on social media. His life was epic. He is missed dearly every single day, but his legacy lives on. So that is that story from the Daily Beast, and it's a similar story to the one I saw in the New York Times and on CNN. Uh, they were the first ones that broke the story. And to summarize again, what they're saying is that uh, Green Beret Melgar found out that a couple of Navy SEALs living with him, I don't know if the number is two or several, but some, they, he found out, uh, well, he found out that several of, 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 does it say two in here? Let's see. Let's see if it says two or several. Uh, let's see. Discovered the SEALs. It says discovered the SEALs, but it doesn't say how many. So it's, he discovered that, uh, anyways, 
Uh, Melgar discovered that some of the Navy SEALs he lived with were stealing money, according to these reports, um, from a fund that was supposed to pay off informants. They asked him to, if he wanted to be cut in. He said no. Uh, he told his wife that he had, he was feel had bad feelings about these people. And uh, soon after that, he died in mysterious circumstances from asphyx asphyxiation with those Navy SEALs present at his death. And the Navy SEALs were saying, you know, well, we were doing some kind of combat exercises, like combatives. Hold on a second. Let me look, let me, let me find that part for you. So they claim, they're, they're, they, they initially said, well, the SEALs told superiors that Melgar was drunk during so-called combatives, that is, hand-to-hand uh, -hand fighting exercises. So these Navy SEALs basically admitted that not only were they with Melgar when he was dead, but they were having physical uh, fighting contact with him when they were dead. Uh, when he, when he, I'm sorry, when he died, uh, but they were just saying it wasn't their fault and that, that it was the fault of him being drunk and they were doing these exercises. But, uh, but now it seems that he, he knew he had found out that they were stealing according to these reports. Anyways, would like to hear what you think about all of this. Write to me on, at, on Twitter at, at Lookner, at L-O-O-K-N-E-R. I'm going to read some of your comments now, if you have any comments, um, on this, it would be interested in hearing your thoughts. And uh, also, uh, again, thank you to the moderators for moderating the chat room uh, tonight. Chat rooms on both the web and here. And and uh, if you want to know about these videos in the future, subscribe to us on YouTube and click the notifications bell when you uh, subscribe. That way you'll get notifications, except in the odd case like tonight where a lot of people didn't get notifications, but usually they go out for the videos. So uh, subscribe to us on YouTube and click the notifications bell. All right, let me see if anybody has written in. And it's possible no one's written. And now I know people are talking in the chat, but it's easier for me to read what you're saying when you write to me on Twitter. So feel free to write to me on Twitter so I can actually read what you're saying. Unless you want to talk in the chat room and not want me to see it for some reason. I, JC, I'd be, JC, I know you served in the military, so I'd, I'd be interested in hearing what your thoughts are on this. And as I said before, there is a New York Times story uh, which has a bunch of sources and also says uh, very similar things. Now, JC, you're saying in the chat room, JC, I call BS. I'd, I'd love to hear your reasoning, JC. Let me know your reasoning for this. Because you have some uh, military background, so maybe you can offer some perspective here. Whereas Ribbit Hop in the chat room uh, does not buy the he was drunk and caused that cost him to die of strangulation. Ribbit Hop is not buying that. I see a very heated discussion going on, a good spirited discussion though going on in the chat room right, right now about this, which I'm reading some of the comments. So I'm seeing in the chat room, there does seem to be some, some uh, disagreement uh, about whether to believe the story or to leave, uh, believe this report about, and just about what, about the, I mean, you know, a number of sources said that uh, basically there's some disagreement about, you know, whether the story, the Daily Beast, and the New York Times presents, which suggests that these Navy SEALs might have killed uh, the Green Beret because he found out they were stealing. Some of you are, uh, are more buying it more than others are. So some of the comments in the chat room I'm seeing, seeing are like, money causes people to do crazy things. Uh, wouldn't be the first time like this hap something like this happened. It's your choice to believe the story. Come on, seals aren't saints. Reagan better says stealing is against the law, but less far lesser crime than murder. So are you saying Reagan better? Are you saying like, well, 
maybe they did steal, but they didn't murder him. Now, if they didn't murder him, there's still this question, remember, how he died. The autopsy said he died from homicide asphyxiation, meaning somebody else strangled him or cut off the air there. So there's only so many, and it was, it was in the embassy housing. So there's only so many people could have been there uh, doing this. Now, maybe somebody might try to claim the autopsy was incorrect, but that seems like that's going to be a tough thing to show, uh, you know, uh, presumably the, the autopsy people in the military know what they're doing. Uh, so, you know, it's not like, it's not like there's, you know, an infinite amount of suspects here. Real Frank says the military takes a long time to investigate crimes. So I see a comment, some comments in the chat room. Somebody says, uh, I will wait until more information comes out. Somebody else says, seals were caught by an honest man and they killed him to keep him quiet. One comment says, I totally buy it. And then the next comment below that says, I don't buy it. So we seem to have some disagreement in the chat room about this. JC, thank you for writing in. Okay, JC. Here's what JC, one of our moderators, says. JC says, Steve, my heart goes out to the family and friends of my brother in arms. I pray this isn't true, but having served in the military without going into detail, the swamp is deep and there is more going on than you imagine. And if the Navy SEALs did this, this is despicable, and my opinion is execution. You never turn on your brothers and sisters in arms, period. Now, JC, one thing, thank you for writing in very much, JC. One thing I want to point out here is, Let's suppose, let's suppose these reports are true. Let's suppose the allegations are true and the two Navy SEALs or however many did actually, were actually stealing and did actually murder this Green Beret. That in itself doesn't show that like all or most or even like a, a great percentage of, of, of uh, Navy SEALs or Special Operations Forces are corrupt. I mean, all it shows is that the specific people in this case, um, you know, weren't good people and did this bad activity. But, you know, just because in, in all walks of life, in every field, in all kinds of jobs and fields people do, there are people who turn out to be bad actors. Now, without talking about these specific people, if you if you did find a couple of Green Berets who had done something badly, a couple, a couple of Navy SEALs, that in itself doesn't show that, you know, a lot of them are doing really bad stuff. So I think it's important to say that, that you can, you could, it's, it's, I don't think it's unreasonable for somebody to say, look, I, 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 I'm, I think this evidence is compelling here that these two Green Berets or how many, ever many it was, could have done this and could have been stealing. But at the same time, I also still believe that the vast majority of, uh, of Navy SEALs and Green Berets are, are upstanding, honest, you know, good people. So I, I certainly don't think, you know, the question here, I don't think this is a question of whether you think the Navy SEALs are all corrupt and the Green Beret and Special Operations Forces in general are corrupt. At least that's my opinion, but maybe you disagree. But we're only talking about a, a, a couple people here among a large, large force of, uh, of different Special Operations Forces. JC writes in, for example, Seventh Group was caught smuggling tons of cocaine in an AC-130 around 2004 to 2006. I stand with Trump writes, what is sad is that the soldier who died, Melger, I think his name is, uh, I believe he was a good guy who found out some of his teammates had gone rogue. They got scared he would turn him in for what they were doing and decided to try to cut him in on what they were doing. And he said no to them. And that is probably when the other guys took it upon themselves to do him in. This is my opinion on it. Sad, but these are things uh, they make movies on and about. Doing a great job, Steve. Stay on top of this one, Steve. Hashtag MAGA. Thanks for writing in. I stand with Trump. So you think I stand with Trump that, uh, that you know, there was that report we saw in the Daily in the Daily Beast article, I believe it was, where a source had said that uh, the Navy SEALs had tried to cut in, asked, asked Staff Sergeant Melgar if he wanted to be cut in on this stealing operation, and he refused. And you think I stand with Trump that him refusing could have led the Navy SEALs to say to themselves, we got to do something about this guy. You know, another thing I thought of was this. I had been thinking about this. Let's suppose, you know, is it possible that Staff Sergeant Melgar found out about the stealing. 
the, you know, he talked to the Navy SEALs about it. He confronted them on it. And then maybe what they thought they were going to decide to do is we're going to physically threaten him. Maybe they didn't mean to kill him. Maybe they were threatening him and say, they were like putting a chokehold on him and saying like, dude, shut up about this or like, or we'll kill you or something, which would be bad if they did that. My point is that's something that could have happened or there could have been a big fight over this where Melgar said, uh, I'm going to turn you guys in. And they got mad and they got into a fight. My point is the death could have been accidental. Uh, but it could have been, it could have come in, it could have come because a fight was happening or like a threat was being made. And maybe they didn't intend to actually kill Melgar if, when they were fighting. But these are, uh, you know, powerful men. Supposedly one of the Navy SEALs uh, was, a, was a mixed martial arts fighter. Was it professional? Yeah, one of, one of the SEALs was a mixed martial arts pro. So, you know, you don't know. It, it could have been that he died, but uh, that murder wasn't the plan specifically. Just something I thought of. Could be wrong. Bobby Harvey says, sounds like a code red gone bad. Now, what do you mean by code red, Bobby Harvey? I'm not sure. I'm looking up code red. If anyone has, an, has a specific idea or Bobby Harvey, you want to clarify, let me know. I'm not sure exactly what you mean by that. Oh, and JC clarifies that the the coke that the soldiers caught smuggling cocaine was from was the cocaine was from Colombia. You're saying JC. Reagan Better says, "Have they made any arrests in this Green Beret case?" No, I am not aware of any arrests having been made in this case yet. We're going to be in on the air a little while longer covering this story. So if you have any more comments, give me a shout on Twitter at Lookner at L-O-O-K-N-E-R. Also subscribe to us and click the notifications bell on YouTube so you get updates uh, about when we're coming on the air. And uh, you can follow us on Facebook at Right Side Broadcasting, on Twitter at, at RSB Network. And also your support keeps us on the air. We can do this stream because you have donated to us. So if you want to donate and keep us on the air to provide you an alternative to the mainstream media, you can go to the YouTube chat room and click on the dollar sign at the bottom of the YouTube chat or go to rsbn.tv slash donate, rsbn.tv slash donate. JC says code red equals CYA. And Ebiscom says, Code Red, isn't that from A Few Good Men, the movie? So some people are, uh, are talking about Code Red, but I'm still not sure what it means. Didn't know if there's anything else I wanted to mention in this New York Times article. Let me just skim it over here. It had a lot of similar information. So this is the part the New York Times article says... Um, a military medical examiner ruled the death a homicide by asphyxiation or strangulation. Also, the NCIS took over the case in late September from the Army criminal authorities after the status of the two Navy SEALs was changed from witnesses to persons of interest. Bobby Harvey says, Code Red as in the movie A Few Good Men. Thank you, Bobby. The problem is, I honestly cannot remember if I've seen A Few Good Men. I think I saw it years ago and I just don't remember it. Uh, that happens to me sometimes where I just don't remember specific things from movies I've seen. It was a while ago. When did that movie come out? I think I saw it like 15 years ago or something like that. But it came out in... 1992, so 25 years ago. I stand with Trump says this is what code red means. Code red is one of the several military slang terms for extrajudicial punishment. A few, the term was a major plot point of the 1992 film A Few Good Men in which a character dies after receiving a code red. Thank you, I stand with Trump. So, uh, so Bobby Harvey thinks this might have been a case of extrajudicial punishment. But it's a little, but it, it's... 
punishment, I don't know. It feels like they weren't punishing him. They were more for doing something wrong. They were more like uh, attacking him because they were trying to save themselves or something. Anyways. But thanks for the clarification. All right, I think I think at this point we're going to wrap up this stream. So we appreciate you joining us here. Maybe there'll be some more news on this soon. Maybe there'll be arrests or something. Maybe we'll find out new information. But it is sad, you know, we shouldn't lose sight of the really sad thing is that we have a Green Beret who, by the accounts we read, was a really good person, uh, dead, uh, murdered, and that's not good at all. Somebody who was serving his country murdered, uh, apparently by his own troops, because it was at his place, and it was he was with people he lived with, other other American uh, special operations forces. So whatever happened, it seemed if the autopsy was correct that he was murdered by somebody uh, in the American forces, which is not a good situation. But maybe we'll learn more about that soon. And I just want to make sure I got to all of your messages here. Ah. Uh, JC also says, Steve, code red means in military slang to hide your criminal activities. Thank you, JC. Okay, so we're going to wrap this up here. Re appreciate you joining us. Thank you so much to the moderators for moderating. We got JC and Real Frank and Guinevere was there. And um, also, uh, who else? Common Sense and Gleno on the website. Thank you all for writing in your comments. I very much appreciate it. And for uh, having a, looks like it was a spirited, good discussion with people on both sides, but being respectful in the chat room. So I love to see that. Thanks to the moderators for moderating that discussion. And um, we will, if, it's, if there's more breaking news this evening, you know we'll come on the air. I don't know at this point if there's supposed to be any President Trump events tonight. Let me just check and see if I can see anything here. Nothing scheduled from President Trump tonight. He's supposed to be coming back into town, I think tomorrow maybe? tomorrow the next day um i thought it was tomorrow but uh but we'll keep you up to date on breaking news stuff uh, so keep an eye on us here at right side broadcasting and thank you for saying thank you everybody in the chat room we got sons of patriarchy uh craig saunders uh, light switch who else is there rick bonath joshua marks jasmine I, Dan, the man. Count Chocula. And everybody else there in the chat room and on Facebook. Hello to all of you and thanks for watching. Okay, so I'm sure we'll be back soon with some more news. Maybe tonight, but certainly soon. Uh, but for now... Uh, we hope you have a good night, and we'll let you know if we hear more news, news about this story. You can also follow me on Twitter, at Lookner, at L-O-O-K-N-E-R. I post about breaking news even when we're not on the air, so you can follow me there. But for now, I am Steve Lookner. This is Right Side Broadcasting. Thank you for joining us, and have a good night.